don't know them or trust them. We don't care about them. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Those who died on our city streets know intimately the anguish found in this song. They died in the heart of this city, and yet their deaths, just like their lives, went, were disregarded, virtually unnoticed. The struggle to survive was lost each day on those who passed them by. They were ignored, except when considered public nuisances. We are a city of strangers whose hearts are unmoved by the plights of our most vulnerable sisters and brothers. Scholars have been squandered and citing or arresting 113,792 poor and homeless people for so-called quality of life offenses. No more! No more! We demand that our valuable resources be spent on effective and humane solutions to homelessness. Everybody, we stand firmly with more and homeless members of our community in protection of their basic human and civil rights. They die in our very midst, unnoticed, unmourned, often even unnamed. 46-year-old R.B. was found hypothermic lying next to an already deceased individual. When the paramedics found him, he had a body temperature of 29 degrees. After arriving at San Francisco General Hospital, RB was rewarmed, but began to show signs of other medical trauma. On his way to the intensive care unit, he coded and died. DS was found with the temperatures around 100 degrees. He was found slumped over the left side of his wheelchair near the Fowl Street Park Station. MD, a 37-year-old female, became unresponsive while in the company of a friend. They were in the midst of walking to another friend's house when she became incoherent and fell to the ground unconscious. Paramedics were called, but MD had already died. Baby girl G was born on December 16th and died 12 days later. Her death was the result of medical trauma and prematurity. The Department of Public Works personnel found A.B. in his sleeping bag on a cement bench on the Embarcadero. The previous day, A.B. was noticed by the workers, and on the morning he was found, they noticed he hadn't moved from his spot from the previous day. They called the paramedics who determined his death. J.G.'s body was found in the front seat of a friend's pickup truck on Castro Street. A friend allowed J.G. to sleep there during the inclement weather. His friend said J.D. had been depressed over his homelessness and the recent death of his mother, but he had never known J.G. to be suicidal. J.G.'s life ended at the age of 46. Boy M was a six-week-old twin. An hour after his mother laid him down to sleep, she found him to be cold and unresponsive. CPR and other rescue techniques were performed until the paramedics arrived, but to no avail. Baby Boy M never had a chance at life. JD was found unconscious in a doorway on 17th Street. J.D. was found with blood coming from his mouth, and upon initial examination by the paramedics, they discovered several other severe medical problems. He was brought to the intensive care unit and was diagnosed with upper gastrointestinal bleeding and aspiration pneumonia. He died two days later. J.D. will not see his 48th birthday. Trent Hayward. Ronald Heflin, Eric Heighton, Ricky Murray.
Maria Sr. Are you one of the homeless Feeling the light of the land Are you one of the homeless Feeling the light Feeling the light Feeling Thanks to all of you for coming, and let us depart now with the sentiment, these sentiments that have been arisen through this program, through this service, carried it away in our hearts, and may we be moved to compassionate action. Thank you.